Hi to everyone watching this. My name is Verena and I'm an autistic researcher based in Vienna and I like to play. So let's play. This is a riddle. Who am I? I can roar so loud and leave you dumb without making any sound. But my whisper tickles you down to your stomach's ground and makes you lift your pelvic floor. I share your breath when you're meant to speak, make it the fog for the light beam to seek. I'll make the earth shake like a serious earthquake, but leave no visible trace. I am so big I can swell to space, although I am not even there. And my weight is the reason for the ice to break. I am the bridge I stand upon to prevent you from trespassing. The ground that we share while being the gap we're lost in. I am the heartbeat you hear once silence is pulled up full blast. I do inspire, I really hurt, I push, I pull, I hypnotize, I set in motion, I immobilize. But once on stage, the planks do crack and all there is just fades. Let's draw on the mist and blink through the lines. Can you feel the touch on your drum, the glow you can hear? Waters shiver, I'm here. I tend to say that children are my favorite co-researchers and co-creators. But actually, I'd need to turn it around and rather say my favorite co-researchers and co-creators are often children. And maybe that's not mere coincidence. Uh, in my experience, children are necessarily more used to the fact that one is always depending on others. Uh, that life is only possible in relation to others. But this vulnerability does not make them less confident. And they are used to day by day finding and actively establishing new ways to relate to other humans just as to non-humans. To secure survival, adults more or less have learned to hide their fragility, to pretend autonomy that makes an adult more doubtful and hesitating when new relations possibly compromising one's independency come up. But nevertheless, it is good to have infant as well as adult co-creators. Kids are more courageous, but adults can do some things that of course give agency, use tools and instruments, provide time and space anticipate and show perseverance when things don't go easy, and so on. It is most, mostly also more easy to plan things with adults because they don't need to ask their parents for permission. Thus, I would say kids are better for the unplannable. Adults more for things that need to be scripted. But by the way, Every adult is a child as well. I will always be eight years old, just as well as 15 and 37. But actually, I'm more experienced with being eight than with being 37. With non-human actors, co-creation, of course, is a bit tricky. You hardly ever know if the other is really up for your collective endeavor. But I would say one cannot but co-create, as every thought and every action is always embedded into a particular constellation of entities within time and space. For example, if I take a photo of the sea, I am depending on water and light and wind, creating a surface structure, changing every split of a second. I can interact by throwing some pebbles, but it is never me alone creating what will become visible on my photo. 
or another example. I really like talking to bugs. Of course, I can only imagine their perspectives and interpret or anticipate their actions, which of course is a bit difficult being a human. But in the end, I guess, the difference is smaller than one would think. I can never be a bug, but also I will never be you. And this is the reason for that we can be together. The good thing is, misunderstanding always means understanding something else. The bad thing is, misunderstanding in itself is mostly understood as being a failure. Of course, there are a lot of situations where such failure really is fatal. Imagine if you're working as an air traffic controller, for example. Artistic research, as well as personal relations with a strong basic sense of trust at best, provide some sort of luxurious space where one can fearlessly follow whatever is being unexpectedly understood. <laughs>